There's a new bombshell that just dropped that spells disaster for the Democrats in the midterms. We're going to see the poll that has Democrats absolutely panicking today. We're going to see how that poll has completely decimated their central strategy for the midterms. And we're going to see how and why all indicators are shifting decisively towards the Republicans. You're not going to want to miss this. The Wall Street Journal just dropped a real bombshell on the upcoming midterms that may indeed have blown up the Democrats for good. We've been talking now for the last week or so on our videos on how all voting indicators have been moving massively over to the GOP. I mean, for heaven's sakes, even MSNBC is recognizing that we're looking at nothing less than a bloodbath one week from today. Well, that prediction was made before this bomb dropped from the Wall Street Journal. So if MSNBC was panicking over the weekend, they might as well start building their bunkers as of today. Here it is. According to the latest Wall Street Journal poll, White suburban women, historically a solid Democrat voting bloc, have officially defected and swung over to the Republicans by a total of 26 points. White suburban women are now favoring the Republicans by a total of 15 points. It's a 26-point swing from the last time the journal took the poll in August. This is gigantic. This is beyond cataclysmic. For the Democrats, you've got to let this hit you. This poll is utterly devastating to the Democrats' strategy of trying to make the fall of Roe v. Wade central to their get-out-the-vote campaign. The fall of Roe was supposed to turn out white suburban women in unheard of, unprecedented numbers that were going to crush the GOP's hopes for the Senate. And for the House, the overturning of Roe was supposed to be the most cataclysmic event in the history of human rights that would in turn galvanize white suburban women to vote overwhelmingly for the champions of choice. That's what we heard over and over again from the lamestream media all throughout the summer and the fall. The fall of Roe means the fall of the GOP. And now all of that, all of those woke leftist hopes have come crashing down. Those voters, those very white suburban women, are coming out in record numbers indeed, but they're voting overwhelmingly Republican. And why? Well, duh, because of the way the Democrats have totally screwed up the economy. That's why. These women are sick of record inflation. They're sick of being told that a recession isn't a recession. They're sick of stagflation. They're sick of the baby formula shortage. They're sick of the pain at the pump. And most especially, they're sick of being told by Democrats that none of that matters. None of those concerns are valid. What matters is Roe. What matters is J6. What matters? Democracy is at stake. Haven't you been listening to Liz Cheney? What's the matter with you? Haven't you been transfixed by these J6 hearings? <laughs> and so white suburban women who were the driving force uh, for the Democrats wins in 2018, 2020 are walking away. They've had it. And this mass defection is explaining precisely why the polls are now shifting dramatically over to the Republicans. Wait until you see the poll results coming out as of today. But first, did you know today is our six-year anniversary? That's right, gang. This channel was started six years ago today, and I cannot believe that we're just days away from hitting the golden one million subscriber mark. It's beyond anything I could have ever imagined. And it's all because of you. You, every one of you, are part of that million MAGA army that's changing the world in ways we never even imagined. And we're going to have a big celebration around here in the days ahead as we pass that million subscriber milestone. But in the meantime, click on that link below and get yourself some free resources as part of our celebration here. I'm sharing my personal research resources absolutely free at Dr. Steve Blueprint's 
Com. Of course, the midterms are just days away, and I want you to be equipped and informed with resources free from woke, lamestream media propaganda. This free guide dives deeper on how to stay up to date with my news sources and have become your antidote to fake news this season. I've also compiled several of my simple blueprints and personal resources that will help you destroy liberal culture in your daily life. Yours absolutely free by clicking on the link below. All right, gang, this extraordinary defection among white suburban women is causing the electoral map as of today to shift massively in our favor. In the RCP House projection map, five of the last six toss-up races have shifted solidly in favor of the GOP candidates just over the last 48 hours. In Arizona, we're seeing yet another 11-point lead for Kerry Lake in the gubernatorial election there. We now have two polls back-to-back just in a few days of each other, showing an 11-point lead over her scaredy cat Democrat challenger, Katie Hobbs. We're also seeing a tie between Blake Masters and Mark Kelly for the Senate race. Of course, Masters has been surging of late, and on top of that, Masters just got a huge boost today with the Libertarian candidate dropping out of the race and endorsing Masters. And that may be all that's needed to finally put a fork in the Democrat Mark Kelly's campaign. In Nevada, the latest Trafalgar poll has Republican Adam Laxalt stealing the Senate seat from their incumbent Democrat Catherine Cortez Masto. And the Republican Lombardo is winning in the governor's race as well. We talked yesterday about all the polls showing Herschel Walker beginning to break away in the Georgia Senate race, as well as the last four consecutive polls in a row showing Dr. Oz in the lead in Pennsylvania. But something, something frankly embarrassing happened to John Fetterman over the last 24 hours. The Pittsburgh Post-Gazette, which is reportedly John Fetterman's home newspaper, has just endorsed Dr. Oz. I mean, this is crazy. They've endorsed the Republican in the Senate race because they're admitting what we all know. Fetterman is an absolute disaster. In the closely watched New York gubernatorial race, Republican Lee Zeldin has officially taken the lead over the odious, obnoxiously leftist Kathy Hochul in Minnesota. I know many of you have been asking during the Q&A, live Q&As we have on Monday night about Minnesota's governor's race, and I've been so hesitant to give you any hope because Minnesota is so often disappointed. But lo and behold, the Republican Scott Jensen has taken the lead over the incumbent Democrat Tim Waltz. Trafalgar has him at 46-45 in a razor, razor close uh, race. But Jensen's been surging of late. At the same time, their ultra leftist attorney general Keith Ellison is losing to his Republican challenger. So we're on the cusp of a possible Republican revolution in Minnesota. In Wisconsin, the Republican challenger Tim Mitchells has surged ahead of their ultra-leftist Democrat incumbent governor Tony Evers, while the ultra-MAGA center Ron Johnson looks like he's going to cruise to re-election. And if you can believe it, even in ultra-leftist New Mexico, the Republican Mark Ronchetti is within two points of knocking out the incumbent Democrat governor. Are you seeing a pattern here, gang? You see, everything is breaking towards the Republican, even in blue Oregon right now. Now, of course, we can't be complacent here. There is no shortage of shenanigans that they're going to try to pull. We've got to be vigilant. We've got to be volunteering at our local precincts to make sure we have patriot eyes on every single vote being counted. Remember, a patriot is not a spectator sport. Being a patriot is not a spectator sport. Being a patriot means participation. We've got to be in the game. But if we're all doing that, if we're all faithful on our end, we do appear to be on the cusp of something utterly historic. As always, make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. You'll definitely want to check out my latest video I just uploaded on Elon Musk firing the board of directors all as he uncovers a massive Twitter bombshell. You're not going to want to miss it. So make sure to click on that link and I will see you over there. God bless.